headed northeast today to another provincial park south of Halifax. Canadians always do, I think, an excellent job with their provincial and national parks. The layout of the campsites is always nice. They're fairly separated. Wasn't terribly busy last night. I just rode through a fairly large loop of it. I'm guessing it was 75% full. The day four begins about 10.40 in the morning, Atlantic time. Another gorgeous day, so four days in a row had picture-perfect weather. My GPS indicates it's about a two-hour, 38-minute ride. I'm hoping to make a few stops along the way and uh, arrive at the campground late afternoon. Well, if the riding's like this all day, it's going to be a great trip up to Nova Scotia. Temperature's about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. No wind to speak of. What a glorious day. I don't see any clouds in the sky. And the Canadians, of course, are always very friendly. I'm taking Route 3 north. They call it the Lighthouse Route. Beautiful winding roads. Went through a couple little villages. GPS put me on 103, heading towards Halifax, about 270 kilometers. Uh, and I'm going to try to get off up here, get back onto 3, which is much more scenic. On a little bit more of a relaxed ride, which is what I want today. Boy, lots of fishing boats. wonder why they're up on shore. It's not the season. I have at Shag Harbor here, and apparently they claim they had a UFO crash in 1967. There's a museum and store all set up. A few people have stopped. Good example of the Nova Scotia Road. I think it's a one-lane bridge. It is. Nobody's waiting. I have a reservation for a private campground since all the provincial ones look like they are filled up given the Canadian Labor Day weekend. Liverpool, Nova Scotia. The Atlantic Ocean is to my right. These are the little towns and boroughs that I have been riding through. Uh, pretty day like today. Everything looks gorgeous, even the old stuff. My GPS is taking me across the river, which there's a ferry, and I just found out that the ferry is free. I'm only about 14 kilometers from my destination, although I just missed the ferry going over to the other side, and he leaves here every half hour, so I might have another 15-20 minutes, but it's a pretty day, and I think it would save me a fair amount of driving, because that river, the Lahav River, goes up quite a ways. Well, there's at least one car on board. She follows a wire. It's attached on each shore. Never seen that before. Must be quite a current in there that they're trying to take the uh, difficulty out of. Run on schedule for 11 o'clock and then run on 
Thanks. This is Lunenburg, which is a World Heritage Site. There's Lunenburg and then there's Old Lunenburg. And this is apparently the old section of town. I'm going to check in at my campground. It's a private campground since I couldn't get into a provincial park. And then I'm going to immediately turn around and go back and get some food from the grocery store. Sugar soda. 